Do I know you? What do you mean if you know me? Why you hollering out me near me? Stop wearing out your shoe sole and fix me a drink. Oh, please. Don't treat this occasion lightly. The least you can do for our daughter this evening is be sober. Not my daughter, yours. Ours? She became ours three years ago, remember? The food ready? Yes, but we're not touching it till they get here. Okay, but fix me a drink. One little drink can't drunk a big man like me. No, no drink. You chat too much when you drink, and I don't want you embarrassing me this evening. Look who's talking. You chat even in your sleep. Let's not start an argument, Paul. Please. We might be meeting our future son-in-law this evening. We've met a thousand son-in-laws over the last couple of years. She's at that age. This time it's different. I can tell. Donna is really in love. Every month for the last two years. Oh, you <laughs> wouldn't understand. You're about as sensitive as a gorilla on cocaine. <laughs> we mothers can tell these things if yeah. we just know. Oh. Remember how she was on about that trip to Orlando? Which we can't afford. If I follow you and your daughter, I end up in debtor's jail or maybe arms house. Don't you realize she hasn't said a word about that trip for two weeks? Because she hasn't been here, coming all over the night. Oh, she speaks of nothing but Oliver. She eats, drinks, and sleeps, Oliver. Probably sleep with him, too. Oh, no, she doesn't. How <laughs> oh, you so sure? Because she's my daughter. And she was brought up with certain principles. Yes, she's not our daughter again. Oh, <laughs> you're a dunderhead sometimes. <laughs> what time is it? It's after seven. Mm. But they're late. They should have been here long ago. I wonder what... Oh, incidentally, we have accepted an invitation to cocktails to the Mackenzies this Friday. We accepted. We accepted. You asked me anything? You weren't sober at the time. <laughs> Fix me a drink. No. And didn't you promise to give up drinking? Hmm? Wasn't that one of your New Year's resolutions? The year not new anymore. Well, no drink. No drink. Just try to keep one promise for one afternoon. Hmm? Jane, hmm? when we got married, I gave up women, right? <laughs> I should hope so. No, Lord. And then? You asked me to give up smoking, and I did. <laughs> you should thank me for that. Your teeth are almost white again. <laughs> and then you asked me to stop gambling, and I stopped. So you say, but I have my doubts. Oh, Jane, now you ask me to give up drinking. If I do that, what will I have left? Nothing. Oh? I'm... I mean, nothing to enjoy. Is that right? No, I, I mean, I mean, I mean, oh, forget it. No, let's not forget it. You're always starting things and never finishing them. What's that? Must be your daughter and son-in-law. Don't be absurd. That sounds like a bike. And you know how petrified Donna is of bikes. Not anymore, apparently. It's them? It's them. They came on a bike? They came on a bike. Donna on a bike? Lord of mercy, something must have happened. Oh, oh control God. yourself, man. Something control yourself. Something must happen. Control Lord. yourself. Oh, Lord. I feel so nervous. I look all right. You look fine. I'm just dying no, to meet Just you. relax. Oh, Mom? Right. Don't. Mom, Dad, I would like you to meet Oliver. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is my Oliver. Oliver, I'd like you to meet my mother and my stepfather. Good evening, Oliver. Daddy, that's just a hip way to shake hands. Irene. Irene. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ma, Donna. No, no. Don't make a scene, Jane. Try, try to control yourself. Is there a problem, Mother? Listen, daughter. Don't call her daughter. What if anyone should hear you calling my child your daughter? They may think that you and I... <laughs> Paul! You don't know what I want to steer. Look, it's gonna... not only a matter of what they want. I live here as well. Well, for the time being, at any rate. Look, make yourself at home, Oliver. Come Tell on. the truth, you know, Donna. I man don't feel welcome. But I used to get fight. I face a universal fight. Jane, shake hands with the gentleman. Oh. 
I manage the light for the priest to encounter the eyes of Queen Tan. Doesn't he speak English? Le let's see. <clears throat> We've been hearing quite a lot about you, Oliver. Not sure. We wouldn't know if it's true. It's just what Donna told us. Well, if my Donna says so, I show. She's not your Donna. Mother! <clears throat> what do you do for a living? Same thing as you do. Oh, you're into construction as well? Construction is what you do for a livelihood. What you do for a living is the same thing I do. Eat, sleep, and give tongues. <laughs> oh. Don't you work? Isn't he adorable? Quite. Oh. And love. Lots of loving. Hey, you know, have a very loving daughter. Paul, I need that drink now. Um, what do you do in your spare time? Don't you have a job or something? Hey, I don't know about you, you know. Well, you see, ideas them only have in 24 hours <laughs> and that tin, tin bad. So I know I'm no spare time, you know, see. See what? Um, what do you do for a livelihood? Music. Oh, that's interesting. Do you make a lot of money out of it? He's fantastic. So talented you would leave. Do it. you have a lot of recordings? Who will leave? About how many? Thousands. Thousands? <laughs> How long you been making records? I'm on the make record. I'm on buy record. He has a sound system. Oliver's high power. Oh. Strictly heavyweight songs, grassroots music. It's true. It's true. How do you know it's true? Well, I've been to a couple of dances. You know where Oliver played? Dances? God Ooh. help us. Paul, will you fix me a drink? No, no, no. Where were these dances? I about. I'm out in the ghetto. Donna! Relax, try oh, to relax. shut up and fix me a drink. No drinking. I mean, you have to keep sober. This is a special day. Donna, all right, man. She enjoy herself when she come dance with me, say. You swear the music hit the massive and enough can't start up a chair. Everybody just hire you. Is it popcorn at these dances? I think he means gunshots. Oh! Paul, call Dr. Escoffin. My pressure, my pressure believe is going me, off. Believe me, this is a phase she's going through. It will pass. Just try to believe, imagine as if nothing strange is going on here. So, so when you said you were into music, you didn't actually mean that you were a musician? Yes, man. The sound system is just one aspect of my individual involvement in the music. Mm -hmm. But I'm an involved musically, differently. See? See? What is it you do differently? I am a singer of songs and a player of instruments. Oh, really? What instrument do you play? Well, normally I man just play the triangle. But you see when I man smoke? I man play anything. Drums, piano, organs, trombone, trumpet, violin, cello, mouth organ, anything. And what kind of music do you sing? Well, normally I man sing love songs. But you see when I man smoke, I sing anything. Ballad, blues, jazz, Disco, DJ, funky, instrumental, even hymns, anything. Does all this pay? Can you make a, a living out of it? Well, a man doesn't do everything for money. Sometimes I just do certain things for live certain vibes and to fulfill certain inner emptiness. See? <laughs> Oliver has really written some lovely songs. Hey, Dan, no matter with them things about it, but I bring up them things. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Just looking at him, you wouldn't believe the fantastic lyrics he's capable of writing. Hey, that's a school man. I want to school man. Sure. Hey, tell him what the ones them that I write for you. Mm -hmm. He's written several songs for me. Hey, Oliver, sing one for them, huh? That are you mad? We can't just get up and sing songs, so we don't know rehearsal. In front of strangers, you're mad. Oh, which one? <laughs> the one you wrote last week. No, Donna, man, chat. 
the Michael Simon or sure. No, no, not at all. We'd love to hear a song, especially one about our daughter, wouldn't we, Jane? Since when have you been authorized to speak for me? All right, would you like to hear a song? It's not one of those that are not worthy for airplay, is it? Strictly conscious lyrics. Ivan doesn't deal with slackness. Okay, Oliver. Let's hear it. No, man. No, no man. Check. Please. My little ice dog dumpling. <laughs> <laughs> That's my pet name for him. I wonder where you got the inspiration from. Looking at his face. Please. All right. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. Or just one. Mm -hmm. Now, this song is dedicated to Donna. It name my little Donna. God damn, Oliver. Oh, Donna, Donna, my little Donna. Eh, eh, eh. I love my Donna, the little Donna. Eh, eh, eh. Oh, Donna, Donna, my little Donna. Eh, eh, eh. My Donna, Donna, my Donna, Donna. Eh, eh, eh. My little Donna, I love the Donna. Eh, oh, eh, you eh. skip the chorus and go on into the rest of the song. I saw the whole life, boy, you know, see it. How long must they kill our profits while we stand aside and look? Well, it's not bad. I, I liked it. What? Oliver's song. Oh, don't be absurd. What do you like about it? Well, it, it's, 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 it's consistency. Hey, Oliver, do you know one about the dreadlocks butterfly today? Yeah. Mm. Oh, no, no more, please. That was very nice. Um, Oliver, tell us about your family, brothers, sisters. Well, I and I only have one brother, but him they are prison. Prison? <laughs> Innocent victim of society's injustices. What's he in prison for? Larceny. <laughs> Let's have a drink, Oliver. He doesn't drink strong drinks, Dad. Oh. Mm. Donna! Donna! His mouth isn't... Is it hygienic? Hey, Donna. I don't check, so you're old lady like Old right lady? Now. Who are you calling old lady? Primitive. No, it's only a manner of speaking, Mom. First of all, she come in her little speech where you come say, I face favor dumpling. And then she say, my song a chorus. And now she casting aspirations as to the order emancipating out of I and I mouth. Look, let's discuss our future plans. You intend to marry Donna? Dad! Oh, stop your bloody foolishness. When the time right. When will that be? When we have enough little Africans running up and down the house. What little Africans? African children, Mom. Where are you going to get those? Adopt them? Produce them. <laughs> you know, see it. No multiplication. How can she produce African children? She's a Jamaican. Africans. We's all African. I will most multiply, so just say. Well, you may be an African, but my daughter is a Jamaican. Jane, control yourself. No multiplication. <laughs> Me and this African here. Oh, are you going to sit there and allow him to call? Our daughter an African? Does I have any say in this? Shut up. You're not having no African children and that's final. Oh, don't say anything to me. She's my daughter. It's my life. Not true. Our life. Oliver, don't you think it would be better if you got married first before the little Africans came into being? Before, during, after, not important. As long as I race is perpetrated, and I and I plan to do I part to perpetrate I race. Well, you're going to have to find someone else to do it with. Isn't that my decision? No multiplication. Oh, are you going to sit there and allow this to happen? She is your daughter. Well, Miss Donna, if you are serious about this, 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 don't ever call me mother again, and that's final. Well, if that's the way you want it, Mrs. Robinson. Oh, Paul, where did we fail? We? I've only known her for three years. Things like this never used to happen before that. <laughs> Look at it this way, Mrs. Robinson. You're not losing a daughter. You're gaining a son. <laughs> No, look, look, we're all overreacting here. Why don't we sit down and have dinner? Isn't that why we're here? So, 
You don't drink anything at all, Oliver? Carmel, porridge and roots. What kind of roots? Tree roots. Oh, don't be absurd. How can one drink tree roots? Natural mystic. Natural mystic. It's a drink made from boiling certain roots. Well, we don't have any. Hey, Donna. Mm -hmm. Just bring us some ital ice water. We have a mango tree around the back. Maybe you could ask Donna to cut off a piece of the root and... and Jane, <laughs> never forget the way them crucified Jesus and sell Marcos for rice. Why? Mother. I mean, can't you try to be friendly? Let's just talk about something Frankly, that's I don't see where we have anything to talk about. I think this whole thing is just a big embarrassment planned by you to get even because we told you you could not go to Orlando. Okay. If that's the way you feel about it, we were on our way to Oliver's place anyway. And Donna, this is a lifetime decision you're making. And if you walk out of here now, you're not welcome here anymore. Jane. She's my daughter. Let's go, Oliver. That's true. Jaff forbid to dine with I and I enemies. Some will eat with you and drink with you and behind your back. Donna, you mean you're going to Oliver's place to meet his parents? Oliver doesn't live with his parents. Dreadlocks can't live in a tenement yard. Too much so 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 so. Who does he live with then? He lives on Mongrel Hill. Mongrel Hill? Mm -hmm. Isn't that where the police have carried out several raids? Yeah. Babylon want to crucify the dread. Then who does he live with? Some brethren. Some brethren? Bingy, Congo, Bongo, Dirty Locks and Sister Jezebel. The whole of we live good, like one big happy family. Share everything. All right, let's, let's change it something. Let's, let's eat. No, no. Share. Oliver, are your parents alive? Seen. Are they still married? Who? Oh. Your mother and father. I'm my father. Oh, you mean your mother and father got divorced and he remarried his present wife? No, man. My father married to him present wife long time, long before I born. Don, can't you see how ridiculous this is? What's so ridiculous about being in love? He's not your type. Like the prophet Marcos Mosiah say, I have a dream that one day black man and white man, Jews and Gentiles... Wasn't it Martin Luther King who said that? <laughs> ja would never give the power to a bald head. Look, mother, I'm old enough to be able to formulate my own opinions now. I would appreciate it if you would respect them. True. No. Now I'm being a fella fashion monkey. So mm. if you walked in here with a moronic monkey and said, Mom, Dad, this is cheetah, were we supposed to accept it? I did not walk in here with a monkey. You didn't? Hey, come daughter. Let's go share the shelter of I and I single bed. So you're going to leave your comfortable room and go suck on some hill with this, this lunatic? Mm -hmm. That's my decision. Many more will have to suffer. Many more will have to die. Don't ask me why. Oh, oh can't you see what she's doing to us? What? Eh? What? His brother is a criminal. And soon our family will have a prison record. Yeah. That's so stupid. This stops the terrible Babylon system must fall. We'll soon have a thousand nasty children calling us grandma and grandpa. No multiplication. Don't sound like such a bad idea to me. But what if they call to us in front of people? <laughs> Mother, if you could just hear how stupid you sound. Sure. I'm afraid I have to agree with Donna, you know, Jane. And do you want to spend the rest of your life listening to Malika Donna? Oh, 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 oh. Malika Donna. Mother, I'm in love. I mean, you can understand that, can't you? Don't be foolish. You think you can just walk around and love any and anybody, sir? It's I and I shall call any or anybody. I chose Oliver over a million other men in Jamaica. Not you. Hey, she's going to look iry when her dreadlocks grow. Dreadlocks? Dreadlocks. Listen, you still want to go to Orlando, dear? Mm, I'm not sure. I'd much rather spend the holidays with Oliver. Going to dances and growing with dreadlocks. Oh, Paul. Eh? Paul, my pressure. Call the doctor is coming. I can't take this anymore. Call him right away. Donna, bring the food. Is what sort of food? Chicken. You do eat chicken, don't you? Well, I'm on the regular practice still, but 
seen like how oh, this is a special occasion. Roast chicken, Oliver. Irie. With bacon trimmings. <laughs> What sort of trimmings? Bacon. Mom, didn't I tell you? No pork. It isn't pork. It's bacon. I'm an embarrassed. I'm an ridiculed. I'm an insulted. I'm an... <laughs> she was serious. This bacon strips all over the chicken. Oliver, you just have to eat the vegetables. Here. There you are. Source of vegetable. Oliver, the chicken is contaminated with pork. I mean, it's laced with bacon. Yeah? Put it in the cookie night, no? The pan top it is. Oliver! So what are you going to do with that now? I'm going to put it back into the oven. Look, we can just eat the vegetables and later we can write to Port Royal. You mean we have to go through all that trouble? Let me put this away. No, man. Just scrape off the bacon and give me the chicken. Oliver, stop kidding. You know you wouldn't go near to anything that's been cooked with pork. I'm not kidding. <laughs> Just scrape off the bacon and give me the fork. Oliver, up. don't spoil it. Oh, oh um, Dad, uh, Mom, you know, if, if I get that trip to Orlando, I'd be willing to forget this whole thing and, and sacrifice Oliver. Good. Dana. Good. Sorry. Very sorry. <laughs> <laughs> It was all a put up job, a joke, oh, a trick. Oh, God, thanks, God. I'm so relieved. Oh, God, well, let me help you. No, Mrs. Robinson. Leave the beer can. Don't scrape off the beer can. Leave the beer can. <laughs> Robinson, mm -hmm. that was good, good. Thank you, Oliver. You must come more often. I must sure will. I certainly will. You want to take a bet on that? <laughs> that was a good try, Donna. You nearly had us fooled. If they really had us fooled, I was scared. <laughs> I'm so glad you ended like this. Wow. <laughs> Donna, don't get violent. How could you, man? Is it food? I almost had that ticket to Orlando in my hand. Well, you don't have a strong weakness for food. Disney World! You know, you shouldn't tempt me with food, especially the chickens. Epcot Center! You, you're going to give me that party that I still? You crazy! After you ruin everything, weeks of planning, man! But everything was going fine until the food part. Alright, I got ten dollars then. Come out of my house! Just come out, you fraud! You. Your father and I, we have been talking things over. We have decided that since you'd go through all this trouble to try to get us to send you to Orlando, it must mean a lot to you. Hmm? So does that mean Yes, you, you can go. We may not be able to eat for the rest of the year, but you can go. Oh, thank you. <laughs> all right, darling. Thank you so all right. Thank you. You're not thank me, too. <laughs> all right, thank you, Oliver. <laughs> After all, you're the only idiot I could have come to with a scheme like this. <laughs> all right, thanks. Okay, okay bye bye. I'll check you tomorrow. With the thing? Yeah, man. I remember you promised to bring back something for me now. Yeah, man, I remember. All right. Tomorrow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mrs. Robinson. Scene. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Robinson. <laughs> Take care, Oliver. Yeah. <laughs> I <Irene. laughs> 